Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Anita Lee. I'm from Digital Crew US. Um, today we're gonna do a webinar on Little Red Book. Hopefully you um, you're enjoying this webinar, and um, in the end you could learn something really valuable. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, we are Digital Crew. We have a total of eight offices um, in the world. Shanghai is being the newest office, newest addition um, in the crew. So. And we are multilingual digital company, digital marketing company. Oops, let me just next slide. As you can see, those are our offices. And we are multilingual digital marketing agency. And we have a fault line of um, multicultural marketing. So we take care of all the platforms of digital marketing. One of our expertise is really focusing on China. Okay. And not limiting into Chinese marketing only, but we also concentrate on Japanese, English, and English. Um, some of our clients are focusing on Asian Americans or Asian Canadians. So we help those companies to grow those markets as well. And uh, to have um, explained the scope of our business, our services, we help company to draft out the digital strategy. We do the brand audit, uh, provide in-market insights, uh, creative directions, um, and we concentrate on localize the design so that the design and the flavor of the creative work, they are understand by the different cultures. Um, we do the website development, mini program, uh, paid or organic um, search, uh, analytics, content directions, creation, social media, and any of the media buys, including influencers, aka KOLs. And these are some of our clients. Um, in the US, we have a Yale University. We also have the other public traded company called WR Grace. And we have a huge uh, supermarket chain called Kroger in the US. And we have a number of um, skincare perfume brands in the US. Um, and on the education sectors, we also have Binghamton University is owned by New York State. Um, so yeah, those are our clients all over the world. Okay, so now let's start with Xiao Hongshu, uh, also known as Red or Little Red Book. That's a direct translation from Xiao Hongshu. So we are about to learn something about Xiao Hongshu today. Okay, so what is Red, AKA Little Red Book, Xiao Hongshu? It's a really a social e-commerce platform. So I would like to call WeChat a super app, but Little Red Book, uh, Red, Xiao Hongshu, it's a social e-commerce platform. It gives you the information, the reviews and feedbacks from uh, this platform. And then you can also purchase it on Little Red Book. So there's a red store. So you can get all those uh, products from reading about the reviews or feedbacks or information about the products or you may see it on some influencers little red book account now you want to make a purchase and then you have the opportunity to do that i'm always on it <laughs> so tmall and weibo uh, in one app and also it contains a lot of information on lifestyle fashion beauty and all the other products or information combined together. It's overall some sort of like you gather information, you gather the product information, the feedback reviews, and then you make the purchase. It's like all the apps in one. It's an equivalent to Instagram shop. If you are familiar with Instagram, then you would know like a view shop, right? So then you can just go on the view shop and then make a purchase. It's a sort of similar like that, but it's actually more fun. <laughs> Little red book. 
So um, this is like the the screenshot of Little Red Book. If you're not familiar with it, you can do explore if you want to search on a certain product or a certain product category. Then you can gather all of those similar products and information. Then you can click on it, and then it's concentrated on visual. It's the the content is either image or video. Or you, like with the shop text on the bottom, so that you are seeing the actual product, you're seeing actual the uh, the reviews or the feedbacks, and also it has the live stream. Um, if anybody knows Li Jiaqi, the lipstick guy, it's heavily involved on Little Red Book, and his Little Red Book is is all about lipsticks or beauty products or skincare products, anything that he sells. And he his selling skills, I have to say, is amazing. And the live streaming、uh, functionality actually provides that kind of influencer to be on the live stream and then to sell the product. And usually those. Those buyers and、uh, users, little red book users, are more like impulse buying. So when they see it, they click on it and then they make a purchase. And it's really great sales tool to have. And little red book is rated number one cross border e commerce app in China、uh, because of all the functionality combined on little red book. It gives you the confidence of purchasing this particular brand or product, and it has a great、um, ads on the beginning of the app. When you open the app, you can actually see the 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 ads in front of you, and also, I think a lot of Chinese people are based. They usually purchase a product or a certain things that they wanted to read about it. And then they know this is gonna work. For example, you know, Kills. Kills has been heavily involved on、um, Little Red Book. They have ads. They worked with influencers, and so there are a lot of reviews and feedbacks on Little Red Book. If you you if you search Kills products, they are everywhere. So Chinese clients they like to purchase something that they have at least read something about it, and they have a. Confidence in purchasing this particular product, and on Red there are three thousand plus brands, over three hundred million registered users, and it is becoming one of the most widely used social media platforms in China. And、uh, like I mentioned before, that's a social e-commerce platform in China, so it has a lot of.、Um, Other functionalities, not just with social media, but you can actually do the e-commerce. In China, there are a lot of platforms or apps. They are concentrating on multi-functionalities, so they are becoming more and more super apps existing in the in the market. So that's very interesting. Having a social media platform plus the e-commerce side of、uh, functionalities, and. Some brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Givenchy—they're all on、um, Little Red Book. Those are big brands,、um, and there are more and more big brands are coming into、um, Little Red Book, and a lot of celebrities are on there too, like Kim Kardashian,、um, Katy Perry, all those musicians and、um, celebrities are on Little Red Book, and. You know the one of the famous、uh, Victoria's Secret、uh, past Victoria's Secret Angel.、Uh, she Miranda Kerr, yeah, Miranda Kerr. I sorry, I forgot her name, but she has been selling her products Cora on Little Red Book, and it has been a very successful、um, case study. So, like I mentioned, there are a lot of big brands: Suwaso from Korea, Mac from Canada. Swiss from、uh, Australia, Clarence,、uh, Wen and Wilder from、um, U.S., Shurmira from Japan, Perfect Diary is from Taiwan. Originally started in Taiwan,、uh, Calvin Klein, 
and there's Chinese brands, Hagen dazs from, from, you know, that's an ice cream brand. That's one of my favorite. So more and more brands are coming to the little red book and that they definitely see a great result return on the re- investment on the social, on this particular social media, social e-commerce platforms. So like I mentioned, there are celebrities on there. Like Fan Bingbing is, is one of those um, really popular Chinese movie star. Um, Selena Gomez is on there. Pamela. I, I like Pamela's videos on fitness. So it's, it's great. It's great to see all those celebrities on there too. And Fan Bingbing is one of the, in Chinese is Dai Huo Wang. She's like a really influential on skincare products and everything that she recommends is sold out in seconds. So she's amazing. She's like equivalent to Li Jiaqi. Great. So on a daily basis, we are getting 100,000 plus new content every single day. And in some days, that number is more than that. And total user generated products contents on red is this huge number, 780 million plus. And it could be more because some skincare brands, if they do ads or they do promotions, it's actually really great platform to promote your brand, educate your customers, getting fantastic reviews and getting sales. Cause we know Sales means everything, right? So, so who is using red, little red book? Female. <laughs> a lot of girls are on little red book constantly. I, I mean, I, <laughs> myself, I can't stop using little red books on gathering all the information of skincare, nails, and, you know, beauty products, everything. So female dominant client base basically there are female users and they are younger and they are uh born after ni- 1980s um but there are some like 30 plus and it's there there are moms especially younger moms that they needed to communicate and ask for advice oh what would you recommend on this kind of product what should I buy for my baby? So I've seen an increasing um, percentage of younger moms and moms. Um, and in first tier and second tier cities, there are stay home moms. So there are a lot of information exchanged on, you know, everything about the kids. So even like at home workouts, that's been shared like multi million times just on little red book and they are educated and wealthy most users resident in tier one and tier two cities so um those those client base are you know having the the buying power and they they want to learn more and they want to spend money on on the things and that's one of the reasons why those bigger brands are on Little Red Book because of the clientele base. The customer profile is actually really rewarding for all brands. So let's look at the successful story on Little Red Book. Perfect Diary is one of the uh, Chinese brands, originally started in Taiwan. And uh, right now they are the number one cosmetics brand on Tmall. Uh, Tmall, as all of you probably know, is China's largest e-commerce site. Um, Tmall has um, functionalities of shopping on international brands and directly shipped to your doorstep. So Tmall and Taobao, they are widely used in China. Uh, In January 2019, Perfect Diary ranked number seven in monthly sales volume on Tmall. it was the only Chinese brand to make it to the top 10 list. And that's amazing result. Um, their, their products are pretty good. Um, during the mid year last year, Perfect Diary ranked number one 
in the first hour among all Tmall Cosmetics brands. And they are heavily involved in Little Red Book as well. And they hired some influencers to do their, their marketing, their sales. And it's, it's great. Like I said, people like to hear about the products. They like to read about the product reviews and feedbacks. And sometimes the, the live streaming is the only channel that pushed the sales to sky high. So, um, and this brand in particular is one of the largest brand accounts on Red. And there are a lot of like first little circle right here is the um, preview of all the live streaming on this channel, on this particular brand. So live streaming is becoming one of the really powerful uh, selling tool in China as well. So a lot of uh, brands are doing live streaming, including the influencers, they are doing live streaming as well. So um, this is basically giving you the overview of how the little red book is really working. Um, you have the com uh, campaign strategy with the celebrities and KOLs, then you interact with the promotion and content like live streaming, write note sharing. That's like the, the review. Uh, that's what I've been talking about during this, uh, this PPT. So you have people to talk about your brand, their feedback, their customer review, how they like the products and all that combined together that gives you the e-commerce experience and also push clients to actually click on that purchase. So, Everything is work into the whole picture and then bring in the client to engage to the brand, to the product, and then in the end to make the final purchase. So that's how Little Red Book is really working. And it's, it's amazing. You, you get lost in like watching all those different um, videos or live streaming videos and reading about those those product reviews you can spend hours on just <laughs> on little red book that for myself is so this is uh, celebrities and KOLs that's examples of how they selling their products some brands will hire celebrities to post and then to promote the brand and then give the feedbacks and little red book is really heavily involved getting user experience on there so as you can see the 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 little little thing right here and let me just use my mouse it's right here below the picture is actually you can click it and then you can make the purchase right there and then that will direct you to the red store so basically you're reading about the celebrities review and then if you really like it and then you like the result on the picture or a video then you can click the purchase right there right then that makes a user experience a very simple painless and very encouraging on impulsive buying and those um posts on little red book I believe they are very convincing and I've made my purchase a couple times because of somebody said it's great and I liked the picture and liked the video and I clicked buy and then later on I'm like mm, I have many of those lipsticks why do I need to do that but you know this is some sort of things happening um, and it's really powerful for for the younger generation especially for females to actually see it and purchase it. The st statistics, over 60% users would buy products uh, recommended by the celebrities or influencers. Some influencers are bigger than the celebrities because they're known to recommend some really, really good products. And um, like I said, uh, the KOLs, AKA influencers, over 70% of users feel positive reading about those um, reviews and they wanted to 
purchase recommended by certain KOLs or influencers. And there are a lot of influencers and KOLs on Little Red Book. And Little Red Book have uh, specific guidelines on um, making sure the KOLs and influencers are giving the brands the, the, the return on the investment. And then there are guidelines on certain KOLs and the influence can work with certain brands. So it's by the legal points, um, they are really keen on making everything official and have the guidelines to uh, make sure the brands are protected. So those are the live streaming um, screenshots. And as you can see, oh, th those, those eyeshadows they were sold out. Li Jiaqi did a live streaming videos on those um, eyeshadows. They were extremely hard to get and they were sold out in seconds, you know, because you know, th those are cute and those are not super expensive and they are really good colors, I have to say. And there are other live streaming sessions that they have some sort of like a reward um on there too so you can actually get a lot of information on live streaming sessions and um it makes it really easy to purchase and to comment on it and there are a lot of information to share on there so let's look at now what all the marketing costs and strategy there's a platform, an influencer platform, like I mentioned before, that we can work with Little Red Book and we can hire certain um, influencers, KOLs, um, and even some celebrities that are willing to talk to brands on certain marketing strategies. So it's very professionally done and it's very professional um, on the legal point. It's Little Red Book is, has done amazing jobs on making sure the brands are protected and uh, the KPI are good. So this is how they work. Social media campaign options. You either can do, you know, paid content, product hashtags, uh, or uh, offline events or online events nowadays because of, you know, the COVID-19 situation keyword optimizations, and then down to the promotion via, you know, either celebrities or KOLs or both. Some brands will work with both because some KOLs are down to, you know, like they're just friends. They're not just like celebrities. They're, they're higher up. They're right there. Um, KOLs are more like daily people, like regular people. And then with a lot of heavy influential skills to convince the customer to buy. And the keyword search optimization, like I mentioned in the beginning, when you want to search a certain product or product category, then you show up with all those different brands or different product information. Um, and then there are brand name drop down menu match. So it's a complete, um, strategy that presented in front of your eyes and everything is is depending on how we draft out all those strategies and at, at as a digital crew a multilingual um full line digital marketing service provider we can definitely walk through this whole process with you and also draft out all the strategy and plan shoulder by shoulder with you to make sure that you get what you want as a brand as a company and those are the topics that we can partner with KOLs. And um, for example, this, this keyword is losing weight. Um, and then you get all those drop downs, like something associated with losing weight, like the, you know, the meals of losing weight, like those, those diets. Uh, teas that helps you to, you know, lose weight or any products that's, associated with losing weight. And then this, um, all the posts are, let me see, more than 300,000 posts are listed under this keyword. So there are a lot of posts that you can actually read and you can create a topics 
Like for example, wear the ice cream color on your body. Like this is for all the different popular um, colors that you can, you know, search. And then this is the trends. This is the clothing brand trends. So that gives you a lot of other, you know, interesting topic or popular topic, new topic. And then that includes the purchase links in your content. Um, like I showcased the, in previous slides that you can actually go down and just click on the purchase and then you can just get it. And, um, those are the celebrity brands, uh, celebrities on the, the ranking list. Zhao Lusi is one of the really popular ones recent. I think in this year that she worked with a lot of brands and then she did a lot of videos. She is really high con highly concentrated on videos rather than posts, but she will have the articles on below the, um, the videos. It's interesting, watch her. And talking about live streaming, the whole <laughs> presentation, the whole deck, I want to showcase one of the fashion client that we did live streaming uh, not very long ago, like last month. And I, it, the result was amazing. So I wanted to show you this video. So as you can see, the influencer is holding the setup was amazing. Um, I have to say, I've seen some uh, influencers have the lighting and, you know, other photographers and videotaping professionals on the side, but this one is kind of because of the store space, right? So they're hold, holding the bag and showcase it to all the people that attended to the live streaming session and then they are showing all those different bags and how they can work and then put on their body and then to, to showcase it and on that live streaming session the clients can actually see it and then buy it and live streaming not just working for brands that you cannot probably access like for example this brand is in australia so some chinese clients or chinese watchers they cannot be in the store at that moment but they can still buy it and during this covid19 period it's extremely helpful you can just sit at home and then watching all those live streaming videos and then you can make the purchase you know okay so this bag it looks great on on that influencer's body and I want to, therefore I wanted to buy it. So it's taking online shopping to a next level. You actually see the product. You actually see how it looks on a person's body. And then you can, you can see how everything matches. It's really taking you there to shop virtually. And then that is the powerful, especially during this period of time, because you can't go out to shop in a store, right? So it's really convincing. And, um, a lot of, products are doing live streaming because of this period of time is making an inconvenience to shop. Oh. Okay, that's the end of my uh, presentation. I will be open to answer any of the questions that you may have. And um, like I mentioned in the beginning of our uh, webinar, um, we are Digital Crew. We have the full line of digital marketing services. Any of um, questions regarding to the Chinese market or different uh, platforms or utilizing the different platforms, um, you can shoot me an email and I'm only one email away.
I'm in New York EST time zone. So yeah, just email me with all the questions that you may have. And on this webinar, I will be open to answer some questions for all of you guys. Do we have any questions? Oh, we have one question. Um, I will read the question first. Um, is foreign company can open eight account on little red book? Okay, can a foreign company open account in on red book? Um, yes, you can actually use your registration from um, anywhere in the in the world um, from US or from Europe, Europe or from Canada, you can present the registration and we will do the paperwork on behalf of you and then submit it to a little red book. Even if you don't have a Chinese company in China, I know there are a lot of people have this question about, um, oh, I don't have a Chinese company registered in China. Can I have a WeChat account? Can I have a little red book account? Yes, you can. Um, now that China has opened and I make the paperwork a very um, simplified, so we can definitely help you to walk that process. Yeah, for sure. Any other questions? Okay, if there's no any other questions, um, you can email me. Um, you can check our, our website. I will email all the attendees uh, this deck. And thank you so much for joining this webinar. And I wish you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.